historically, John, I've been um, relying on face-to-face -face interaction because my business is extremely based on trust. And so I find that uh, I can build that relationship if I have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with somebody, meet them for coffee or lunch or get referred by one of my other clients. And so I've discovered that, uh, you know, trying to convert people that I didn't know from uh, using the Internet has been, well, I'll say worthless, certainly borderline worthless. And so but I, I got introduced to you by a friend. And so I'd like to tell you a bit about what's happened. I'll just summarize this by saying I follow, I follow John Scripps. So the net of it is I've been able to successfully convert what I'll call cold people. In other words, I have no idea who in the world these people are. I only uh, contacted them through LinkedIn. I've nurtured them in the fashion that you've, uh, that you've developed. In the last 60 days, I've landed one client at my uh, kind of high end level. He and his senior team of managers are being coached by me on a once per month basis for $7,500 a month. So certainly, if I just look at one month, John, uh, I've got a 700% return on my investment with you. And I suppose, knowing John Nemo, that you'll take credit for the entire year, right? <laughs> Well, first of all, congratulations. That is, Thank that's you. exactly the type of story I want people to hear, Bill, that just one client is game changing, right? Especially at that level. And to get a 700% ROI in one month is pretty good. And it's ongoing, right? So you've won the business. You keep them at that $7,500 a month. You're doing your job. Um, you're in business, right? So, and I know you told me too, you've got several other clients at obviously different levels. You have different levels, different retainers. So it sounds like you're really generating a ton of business, right? Yeah, it, I am, John. And, and a couple of other things that I think broader value than, than the bottom line, and that is that at this moment, uh, I've been able to use your uh, proprietary uh, LinkedIn sequence to get people sort of uh, to build trust with people, to get them to the point where they want to take the next step or so. And so after about three, two or three, maybe four uh, interchanges using the LinkedIn uh, messaging uh, tool, uh, I can say that uh, people then that get through that point will end up signing up for a strategy session with me. And at this moment in time, I've got 18 people lined up for 30 to 45 minute strategy sessions over the next couple of weeks. And I've had that, John, what I'll call backlog of, uh, frankly, their sales calls, right? So I, I've got this backlog of people that are warm, they're anxious to talk to me. Uh, when I call them, they're ready and interested and waiting to talk to, uh, to, to hear from me. Wait a minute, Bill. Wait a minute. You said you have a backlog of people wanting to work with you. Is that yeah. <laughs> yeah, John. How great so is that? Quite, because, because, you know, I, I, I kind of... Uh, you're, you're doing too well. Slow down, Prater. Slow down. Well, you know, that, that's a very, very good point. Thank you for that one. I love these kind of stories, and I love the ROI that you're getting. One last question before I let you go, Bill. How much time, give people an idea of once you kind of get the foundation built, you've gotten through the training, on a daily basis, doing that nurturing, doing that lead gen, using the automation tools inside the program, all of that in mind, how much time do you typically have to spend in a day to kind of fill up that dance card, so to speak? With your LinkedIn approach, I'm probably averaging on a weekly basis about three hours. That's amazing. And that's the whole point, right? Is saving that time so you can spend it coaching, right? And and being able to, I know the other thing Bill mentioned before we started talking was this is all he needs now. You don't have to go to other networks, right? You're doing it all on LinkedIn? Correct. Yeah. So I have actually spent a lot of uh, wasted money, John, on uh, things like uh, email drops and things like uh, f uh, Facebook advertising and so forth and so on. So all I need to do, it's more than enough for me to 
fill up my dance card. But yep. my point is, John, seriously, uh, I really, really am grateful to you. I felt that the whole social marketing thing was a complete waste of time for me because I felt it was so inauthentic. I tried it because everybody said you should, you need your evergreen business and all that sort of thing. But but the way you've crafted your approach, it's so authentic. So you've really opened my eyes and made me feel very comfortable. And I think more importantly, John, extraordinarily authentic about dealing with these people genuine heart-to-heart kinds of conversations with people, your approach has enabled me to use the internet in, a, uh, uh, in an authentic way that I've been using for 15 years, but believed that I had to be face-to-face with somebody. 